Well, since authentic and effective leadership at all levels within an organization is critical for its success, let's first take a look at what makes a good leader at any level, a good team member. Earlier I referenced the movie Lone Survivor. It's based on a true story of four Navy SEALs being inserted high in the Hindu Kush mountains of Afghanistan on a reconnaissance mission looking for a known Taliban leader. Unfortunately, soon after their insertion, they were discovered and surrounded by over 100 Taliban fighters from an elevated position. These four men fought bravely for over five hours, actually killing over half that Taliban force. But ultimately, only one survived and was rescued days later. The guy on the left is Michael Murphy. He was the team leader on this mission and awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions on the mountain that day. We went through buds together. He was a good friend and even better leader. Realizing that his men would not survive this fight, he made the decision to call for support. And after initially failing to get reception on his satellite phone, he made the decision to climb to higher ground to make that call, but of course would be completely exposing himself to the Taliban. He did so, made the call, but was then shot four more times during that call, ultimately sacrificing himself for his team. So what does it mean to be a good leader, to be a good team member? What types of emotional intelligence is required for being a great team member within a high performance team? Now, emotional intelligence is about recognizing one's own and other people's emotions, it's about discriminating between certain types of feelings and categorizing them appropriately, and using emotional information to guide our thinking and behavior. But what does that have to do with leadership at all levels and being a good team member? And what traits are imperative for being a good leader or team member within a high performance team? Self-awareness, our ability to recognize our own thoughts, feelings, goals, drivers, values, and emotions, and more importantly, their effect on other people. Discipline our ability to control or redirect our disruptive emotions and adapt in a changing environment. Social skill, that's about having good communication skills and managing relationships to move people in a desired direction. Empathy, sometimes the hardest one, taking other people's thoughts and feelings into account, especially when making decisions. Motivation, the drive to achieve simply for the sake of achievement. Humility, always putting the needs of the team before our own. And passion, having a deep belief in the mission and the team that drives that mission forward. These emotional competencies are not innate talents, but rather learned capabilities that have to be worked on and developed over time to achieve higher levels of personal and professional development and align a team towards the execution of a specific vision.